retired NASA astronaut Clayton Astro, Clay Anderson. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. I'm so excited to talk to you. I love your NASA uniform, even cooler. <laughs> so luckily today, everything went flawlessly. A lot of us couldn't help but wonder what could have gone wrong. So talk to me about how successful and why this capsule flight was so successful. Well, I think it's important for people to realize that we were doing this back in 1961. Uh, when Alan Shepard, for example, uh, went into space and did a similar uh, flight. So the advantage that they have today is all this great new technology. They have new materials, new computers. Uh, they take less electricity. They're cooler. It, it just works better. And they can learn and build on the lessons we've had uh, in the past. And that includes what uh, SpaceX is doing, Virgin Galactic, all those companies. So I'm very glad they're back safely. And I'm sure they had a very exciting ride. One of the most impressive parts of today's launch was the landing back on Earth. Again, I thought that was just amazing to watch. We've come to a point when we see this, it looks almost effortless, but I'm being told it takes a long time. Scientists took a long time to get to this point. Can you explain that to me? Well, I'm not sure what they're talking about in terms of a long time to get to it, right? We did this back in the 60s with parachutes that brought us in on the entry trajectory, so we understand that very well. Uh, I, I think, though, that... Uh, when you come in and the parachutes pop out, it's a great opportunity, a great feeling, right? Because everything kind of settles down. Anytime a capsule is coming in through the atmosphere, it's a little rough. It can be a little gamey. But uh, once the parachutes pop out, all is well. This is the first time, and you just mentioned this, there's been an all-female crew since 1963. What took so long to do this again? Oh, good question. I know that I flew with several uh, females on the space shuttle and the International Space Station program, which was awesome. Uh, I'm not sure why uh, NASA's never put together an all-female crew, but they're getting closer. Uh, I think for this group, uh, they were very much celebrities, right? This was a celebrity cruise with some very impressive uh, females, and the fact that they're the first, uh, congratulations to them, and I hope we see a lot more. I have to ask, was this, you know, these are wealthy women, successful women. Do you think this was just a stunt or did anything good come out of this launch? Well, I think there's always something good that comes out of it, right? Six people got to go see our planet and uh, participate in weightlessness for a while. And I'm a true believer that if all humans could spend a week in space and then two months in the third world country, I think we'd all have better perspectives about how to deal with one another. So uh, there's always something good to come out of it. Um, I looked at the application and I simply can't afford the $150,000 down payment. So I'd love to go back up with a group <laughs> like that and maybe someday I'll get a chance. Uh, many of us are hoping for that chance. It seems Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are in a bit of a space race. Who do you think will make it to Mars first in your expertise opinion, expert opinion? That's a great question. Uh, I don't know much about Blue Origin. They've been more secretive in terms of their advanced planning work than SpaceX has been. Uh, Musk is pretty much out in the open with his Starship and the testing and, and the issues that they've been having. Uh, I just think it's good that there's competition. I think it's good that Blue Origin and SpaceX are both trying to get us to mo the moon and on to Mars, because that's important. Uh, I want the United States to be the preeminent spacefaring nation in the world, always without a doubt. So what they're doing is helping us do that. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Clayton Astro Anderson, we appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. Of course, anytime. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.